field theory. Yes, hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, so I will take a very different direction than from what we saw today. I will talk about uh, algebraic quantum field theory. Um, that is a, a, project, a, a way of formalizing uh, quantum field theory mathematically. Um, uh, and what it is, is a functor. We start with a uh, look, we get a category of globally hyperbolic Lorentzian space times, uh, and the category algebra, associated algebra. And an, an A <coughs> of t is, an, is a functor from this space time category to the, the category of uh, associated algebra, satisfying uh, two main things uh, Einstein causality for two uh, space time separated parts of, your, of uh, like a larger space time, algebras corresponding to these, uh, uh, to these space times commute. And secondly, the time size action, which means that if uh, our smaller space time, which we embed into a larger space time, contains a Cauchy surface of the larger space time, then the uh, algebra morphism will actually be an isomorphism. Uh, this encodes a sense of dynamics. Um, uh, uh, and uh, analog structures exist for uh, not only for quantum field theories but also for classical field theories and dynamic field theories. Um, and uh, I've been working on formalizing this structure using operands. Um, so we start with some, some more general input data. We start with a small category of space types, which you can see, and an uncolored operand. Um, I won't go into the definition of an operet, but an operet is a certain algebraic gadget with um, uh, elements of which have kind of multiple inputs. Um, so we have, in a way, many to one operations. Um, and we are now interested in functors from the space time category to the algebra uh, over an operet. I should have mentioned this. Uh, an operet, in a way, encodes algebraic structures. So for example, um, El associative algebras are algebras over the associative uh, operand. And likewise, uh, the algebras are algebras over the, the uh, operand. Um, and so we are interested in, in functors from the space time category to the algebras over this operand, satisfying su a suitable generali generalization of Einstein causality. Um, uh, we also we have two demands, Einstein causality and the time size axiom. The time size axiom uh, is implemented through a localization of categories. The Einstein uh, causality axiom is where it gets interesting and why we want to work about that. So, um, and uh, yeah, I should mention that this is generalizing work that uh, Benini, Schenkel, and Boyke did last year. Um, so, uh, the first thing we do, we want uh, functors satisfying uh, Einstein causality. First thing we uh, do is we define our C color in P which is an, an operand that is not colored. Uh, what that means is um, we have uh, not, that's not what I was for. So this thing is uh, going to uh, classify the functors. And what it means, we have a bunch of smaller space time and space times uh, that we start with, and one larger target space time. Um, and what, what we do is we uh, take functions from our smaller space time to our larger space time, and then we let our elements from our upper work, which again encodes algebraic structure, uh, on the um, elements, uh, on the uh, algebras that we start with. Um, the important fact about this is that algebras over this larger upper, this coloring of P, are exactly functors from our space time upper to the algebra of P. So we have answered one half of our. Uh, of our question, and uh, the ne next step is how is implementing Einstein causality. So um, we take in, uh, extra input. Remember, Einstein causality said that um, algebras corresponding to space-like separated uh, uh, parts of a space-time commute. So we need a suitable notion of space-like separated and of commute. Um, so on our space-time category, we uh, call a certain subset of maps, of pairs of maps, to the same target, orthogonal. Um, and, it, and so our category C now comes with extra structure. 
can be with the perfect set of perfect functionality relations. Next, on our upred, we want a, a sense of what it means to commute. So we take an upred with a double pointing, two operations um, that we want to be the same for space like separated uh, algebra. And then we define the field theory upred of type P with these relations uh, on our orthogonal category uh, as a co equalizer of this diagram. What it means is that we quotient out um, the, uh, yeah, the exact relations that we want. And we know that this is the right, um, the right object to define because algebras over this upgrade are exactly functors from C to the algebras over P satisfying Einstein causality in our in more general sense. Um, the, this construction is, uh, the construction of this operand is functorial in uh, both the double pointed operands and in the uh, orthogonal categories, which allows us to compare different field theories, um, which is why this is, which is why this is interesting. Um, there is a, a general result in um, operand theory if you have a map between two operands you get a, a junction between their uh, algebras. Um, one of these maps is easy, it's a pullback, which uh, is readily defined. The other one you have to work for. Um, and, but that is also the more interesting one. For example, if we take two operands, the unitary Lie operand and the associate operand, and we take a map that corresponds to taking a Lie bracket and then interpreting it as uh, multiplication minus opposite multiplication, um, we get a linear quantization adjunction between linear field <coughs> theories, which are now algebras over this unitary B operand, where we mean commute, uh, well, exactly this, that the B bracket is zero, um, and algebras over the associative operand, where um, by commute we mean, well, what we usually mean by commute, which is that the uh, multiplication is equal to the opposite multiplication. Um, and um, <coughs> this is uh, a very nice adjunction uh, because, for one, it, we, we, it's actually reasonable to call it a quantization adjunction because for a function of two presynthetic vector spaces, uh, if you take the uh, Heisenberg Lie algebra of that vector space, uh, of that presynthetic vector space, we get the traditional canonical <coughs> quantization of this thing. Um, and um, Q preserves. Uh, the time size action, which is nice because that's what's <coughs> needed for field theories, and it also uh, preserve descent properties, which is basically like saying that um, your theory is defined uh, uh, by its behavior on a certain set of nice space times, like, for example, contractive space time. Um, and uh, this is a higher structure conference. And um, why, why is this interesting? Um, this is hopefully a way of getting gauge theories into algebraic quantum field theory by, because um, if we take complex value field theories, this is a equivalent adjunction actually, um, so that uh, allows for a derived optimization of linear gauge theory. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.